This next part of the tutorial is the Arrow MIDI uh, cube tutorial. There are several ways you can add cubes. Um, one of the fun ways to add cubes is to click the MIDI add button. And now whenever you play a MIDI note, you will have a um, cube up here. I'm adding these MIDI notes um, by pressing on my MIDI keyboard. Now, in my particular case, um, my I'm not hearing anything when I add these notes, so I'm going to select them, delete them. I'm going to go back into the settings, and I'm going to click on MIDI through. So now I can hear it and play at the same time. I can now click the mouse and play, play a few different uh, notes. So now that's all done. Um, now I can unclick MIDI add, go out of edit mode, and put my hand in there. That's that. Now, you can also do scales and other fun things like that. So I'm going to um, continue on, put MIDI node, MIDI add back on, and I'm just going to do a scale. Okay, get out of MIDI add mode, and and I can also um, I'll get into edit mode, and I can zoom out with the camera. I can also hit this minus key, and I can see this better. I can get out of edit, and I can go and put my finger in. So it looked like that note, I must have pressed two notes at a time. So I can go click on it, I can click Properties, and I can go in and see, oh, yes, I was very clumsy because there was a piece of paper on my desk and I messed up. So there we go. And I can click on this one, that one looks good, that looks good, that looks good, that looks good. Okay. That all looks good. Uh, another thing I can do is if I want to hear what, what the note is, I can hit preview and then just click on the next note. I can zoom in, of course, more. I can lower this so we can see it better. Now, another fun thing is um, it is fun going and pressing the different notes in here. And of course I can just turn it, I can set an action so that on the start I hide all my fingers and I also track the uh, hand as a finger. So now, now I just have my hand in there. That's really cool. Another fun thing we can do with this mode is change the camera. This is not, uh, people don't generally like this. Uh, it's a little disorienting. Uh, but it is in there. We have the Oculus Rift enabled mode. If you have an Oculus Rift, it is pretty cool to try that out. Uh, we also have the follow mode and the hand orientation to rotate the view. This is what this looks like. Oh, we got to get out of edit mode too.
that's where I meant to go. I was trying to find my note. And... Anyways, it's experimental, that mode. It can be pretty fun, though. So I'll put it back into fixed location. Um... You can arrange the cubes any way you want. Um, this is just the way they are right now. And you can rotate the view to resize them and reorganize them as you'd like. So for example, if I wanted this to be uh, much deeper, I can do that. I could make it um, so that that cube is um, has some sort of control on it as well. So from Z, I could I could add a, a CC to make it change its expression. Um, I already have one mapped up. Uh, oh no, I don't. I have. Let me add something. I'll add an easy Q and. Map it to brightness. We'll do maybe learn on my DAW. I'll hit train. Stop. Stop. So now my Z axis on that cube is set to um, control some expression. So let's see what that sounds like. show you what it's actually doing. It's actually hitting another note too. So we could put it right there. Let's see. Rotating that looks good. And that's a little quick tutorial on using Aero MIDI with cubes. Thanks.